Let's get it back to Ian Eagle, Sarah Kustock with some thoughts. Bob, thank you very much. Steve Nash has talked about dealing with adversity, and adversity can come within the framework of a single game. The Nets seemingly had this game won. They're up double digits, just over two minutes to play, trying to end a long losing streak in the city of San Antonio, and they blow the lead. Spurs battle back. They force overtime on a crazy possession from DeJounte Murray, and the Nets get back to business in OT and find a way to win. It was the locked-in nature that they took into that overtime, and you probably, if you're the Nets and Steve Nash and that group, understanding there were so many things throughout the closing minutes of the regulation that you would like to have back, you could have changed, but rather than focusing on that, it was just the consistent nature of which they were sharing the ball, they were moving it so well, the decision-making on the offensive end led to an excellent shot quality, and then on the flip side of things, defensively, the communication, yeah. and they were moving on a string, they were able to start putting together some stops and I think collectively there's big numbers and a big night of course out of James Harden what Kyrie Irving was able to do but once again Bruce Brown yeah. not only the numbers but the timely baskets the minutes that Nicholas Claxton was able to give you go up and down this lineup and it's starting to become just the consistent theme of there are moments throughout the course of the game that everyone is playing a crucial role or making game winning plays and because of it I think just the confidence keeps on building in yep. those final moments of a game because they've been there before they've succeeded before and now they're starting to stack together yeah chemistry is definitely forming no doubt about that uh, you don't have to say it every single game but it is a reminder that they're doing this without one of the top players in the nba in kevin durant it shows the talent level it shows the cohesiveness that is forming and the trust that steve nash is finding with some of these role players they're going to walk away from this as james harden mentioned to michael grady with a lot of firsts there's going to be a lot of firsts this season and we're seeing it now. It, it had been a long time. 2003, last time they won in San Antonio. That was an NBA Finals game against the Spurs. 2002, regular season. And a lot of those stats are going to go by the wayside when this season is finally done. And to follow up that question, a part of it, too, that James Harden alluded to is they like what they've done. They appreciate how they've been able to come together, but there's still a whole lot more work to do. And I think the silver lining of Kevin Durant being out, despite yep. the fact you want him out there, Jeff Green not able to play, Timothee Luabu Cabarro, is that different individuals are getting minutes, getting some run, understanding how they fit in the context of this rotation when their number is called upon. And you never know when that may matter down the line in the season so those are the important aspects to look at to appreciate and to make sure that for many of these players which we're seeing that making the most out of these opportunities up next james harden back in houston and the nets will wrap up the first half of the nba season before the all-star break another win against a western conference opponent nets have gotten it done throughout the season against teams from the west back to you bob and frank I and Sarah, thank you for that.